So let's see what happens when we double click on one of these devices. Note below that we have um, a debug log that shows what the path is that we're trying to get. Right now, we're interrogating .well known slash core, which is the standard co app fetch to uh, display all available resources. If we expand that, we see that in this case, uh, we don't have any other additional resources available other than what resides directly on the Milanic. And uh, that, that's because this particular one is not attached to an Arduino board or any such thing. So there is no additional resources being returned. If we double click on time, you'll see that we get whatever the current time is set on that NIC. And there it is.